Hi there, welcome back. Today in DaVinci Resolve, I will show you a free shuffle transition template and demonstrate how to create the shuffle transition with Fusion tools. From the effects panel, drag the essential shuffle transition to the timeline. Select the transition and go to the inspector. We can use parameters in the transition tab to adjust the effect. By default, the transition fades out the current clip and slides in the next one. Enable the reverse shuffle option to slide out the current clip and reveal the incoming clip from behind. Fading option adds a fade effect as the clip slides in or out. With the Ease In and Out drop down list, we can change the animation style. Shuffle distance controls how far the clip slides. Shuffle angle sets the angle where the clip slides in or out. Shadow strength is used to adjust the shadow effect. We can turn off the shadow by setting this value to zero. If you are interested, you can download this transition template through the links in the description below. Next I will show the detailed steps of creating the shuffle transition effect in DaVinci Resolve 18. Here in the timeline, we have two text clips, number 1 and number 2. Go to the Video Transitions page in the Effects panel. Drag and apply the Fusion Cross Dissolve Transition to the edit point between Clip 1 and Clip 2. Right-click the transition block and choose Open in Fusion page from the context menu. In the Node Editor, we can see all the nodes that are used for the transition. Media in 1 is the outgoing clip and Media in 2 is the incoming clip. The Cross Dissolve node group contains the nodes used for the transition effect. Since we will create our own transition effect, we will delete the Cross Dissolve group. Drag a background node from the toolbar into the node editor. Set the alpha value to zero so that it turns transparent. Disconnect media out. Drag the output of the media in one node merge with the background output. This adds a merge node automatically to the node tree and connects the media in as foreground input, background node as background input. Connect the output of the new merge node to media out. Rename the merge node to fade out. Right click and choose edit controls. Name the control animate value. Leave type to a number. Page to a user. Set the range from 0 to 1. Choose slider control as input control. Click OK to confirm. Now we have a new user tab in the inspector. Right click the new control to open the context menu. Select modify with anim curves. Switch to the Modifiers tab. Set the curve type to Easing, which enables the in and out curve preset list for selection. We leave both in and out selection to a none as the default. Go back to the Tools tab and switch to the Merge tab. Enter equals sign in the Blend parameter field to enable simple expression. Click and drag a whip from the Add button, hover over the User tab, Wait until the tab opens. Continue dragging the whip to the animate value parameter, release the button. The blend value is now connected to the animate value. The clip is now fading in when we play the transition, as the blend value changes from 0 to 1. Change the expression to 1 minus animate value, 
so that it fades out as transition plays. To simulate a shuffle effect, enable the simple expression for the size parameter. Set the expression as shown on the screen, which transforms the size from 1 to 0.5. Drag the output of the media in 2 node and merge with the fade out node. Press F2 or right click to rename the new merge node to slide in. Go to the inspector. Right click the center parameter and choose modify with vector result. Switch to the modifiers tab. Enter equals in the distance parameter field to enable the simple expression. Set the expression to the one showing on the screen. Using the animate value control we added to fade out node earlier, this expression sets the distance from 1 to 0 as the transition plays, which slides in the clip from the right side. Similarly, we can modify the size parameter with a simple expression to set the size of media in 2 from 0.5 to 1. We now have a simple shuffle transition effect completed in the Fusion page. To save this as a transition macro template, select all the nodes except Media In Nodes and the Media Out node. Make sure to select Fade Out node first, Control click to select Slide In node, and Shift drag the mouse to select all other nodes. This will ensure Media In nodes are connected to transition effect in the proper order when the saved macro is applied to clips in the edit page. Right click one of the selected nodes, choose macro, create macro. Enter the macro name, for example, shuffle transition. Check the ease in and out parameters so that we can easily select the predefined animation curves in the edit page inspector. Choose save as group from the option menu and save to the folder as shown on the screen. Restart the DaVinci Resolve and go to the Edit page. We can now select the newly created transition from the Effects panel and apply to clips in the timeline. In the Inspector, we can change the transition effect using different Ease In and Out options. As you see at the beginning, the download version of the Essential Shuffle Transition template has more controls in the Edit Page Inspector. You can open it in the Fusion page, explore the node tree and see how it's done, and add your own nodes to customize the transition further. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.